Welcome to Tech Notice, my friends. So AMD has released their 6000 series graphics cards and Nvidia has their 3000 series graphics cards. Now by the marketing material and by looking just at the specs and reviews, it looks like AMD is the best bang for buck card if you want to do gaming. But what about the content creators? What about the video editors? Is it the same situation or story there about the NVIDIA and AMD or is it slightly different? The big question is, if you're a content creator, especially the video editor on Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, should you go with AMD or NVIDIA? You're going to find out. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the two most popular programs in the world, the Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. We want to answer the simple question, which one should you go for, AMD or Nvidia? But if you want to know which one is the best bang for buck card for your budget, then stick around, hit that subscribe button. We're going to get to that in another video where we're going to look at which cards are better and how much performance gain you're going to get with each card. Say that, I'm going to leave some of my recommendations in the description as well as some of the performance gain by percentage and also the budget. So you can see in the description there's a Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve and which cards I recommend to, for you to get. But to answer the question very, very simply, should you go with Nvidia or AMD? Then the colors actually represent which one should you go for. AMD, red, Nvidia, green. So if you are a content creator and video editor, whether you are on Adobe Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, you should go with NVIDIA cards. And we're gonna look at some of the specs and performance uh, analysis in a moment, but that is the simple question. In fact, if you are a content creator in any program, you should go with NVIDIA. Now, I, don't, I personally don't see any reason why you should go with uh, AMD if you wanna do professional work, content creation, uh, you know, video editing, 3D, any, any professional application, I don't see a point with going AMD. Now, said that, if you are a gamer and you're doing, you know, 50-50 or things like that, content creation a bit, and then, you know, video editing, then that question should be slightly different. You have to kind of answer the question to yourself, which one do you do more? And then decide which one should you go for. Now, AMD cards are probably best bang for buck for gaming. AMD uh, Nvidia cards are best bang for buck and, you know, better at video content creation. Now, I said that Nvidia is still good for gaming, but probably a slightly more expensive. But then ask yourself, which one do you do more? Video editing or gaming? And then that should answer your question. Also, I'm going to leave all the specs in, on the screen here right now. Uh, so you can see, you know, all the NVIDIA cards and uh, AMD cards, the latest ones that have been released. Uh, NVIDIA is probably releasing some new cards soon or by the time you watch this video, there might be more NVIDIA cards out. But then, you know, stay tuned for update of this video. Hit that subscribe button so you're not going to miss this. But as you can see, I've labeled them in the order of price. So it starts from RTX 3060 Ti and then ends with uh, 3090 and then everything else is in between. OK, so we're going to start with Premiere Pro, uh, some of the like scores and analysis over here. So on the top, uh, top right over here, you can see that we have uh, the prices laid out and the cards. And then on this score, the blue cards are Nvidia. I know it's slightly uh, confusing. They should be green, but here you are, they are blue. I made the Radeon cards or AMD cards red, so it's very easy to distinguish which ones are which. So as you can see on top of this chart over here, there's pretty much like a line that goes between and then all the top is green and then all the bottom is red. Now, the more interesting thing is that even the newer AMD Radeon RT RX, uh, you know, 6000 cards are not even matching the NVIDIA's last generation cards in the content creation world. As you can see, 2080 Ti over here is better than the uh, 6900 XT. I know there's the 6900 XT has a bit more video RAM than our 2080 Ti, but apparently it doesn't matter in Premiere Pro so much. The more interesting thing is now we have one uh, Nvidia card over here, which is the 3060 Ti and looking at the price over here, this is $399. Now look at the score over here. This is 990 score and only eight points more we have the 6900 XT 
which costs 999 which is more than double the price but basically the same performance so as you can see i see no point in going with amd card over here if you are a content creation you can see the 3060 ti performs as good as the best as amd what amd can uh, offer i'm stating the msrp prices because everyone knows the stocks is stock is mental at the moment but when it equals out we have to have these like kind of root or anchor prices what are the msrp prices doesn't matter whether it's higher or lower this is what we have to relate back to because you know deals and everything goes all over the place so if you want to current pricing the most accurate way of analyzing the thing would be to use the msrp i'm sure you understand if you want to see like digging in and like which workflows and which cases these graphics cards are actually better then definitely subscribe this video is coming out soon but in premiere pro as you can see very easily the Nvidia cards are on the top, AMD cards on the bottom. Now let's have a look at DaVinci Resolve over here. DaVinci Resolve <laughs> is even more simple because let me make a lovely green square on the top. These are Nvidia cards over here and they're all on top of the charts and AMD cards are on the bottom over here. Well, that was not a good square. Look at this over here. now. If you are editing on DaVinci Resolve, the 3060 Ti has even more or even better of a gap between the 3900 XT, which is, look at that, $1,000 compared to $400. Look at the score difference. There's about 120 points difference, which is more than 10% in this case. Can you see that? Now, AMD has actually done quite a bit of a leap from uh, you know 5900 xt which is like the last generation card and you can see there is quite a big of a jump to 6800 xt and 6900 xt there is a bit of a bigger jump over here but what is interesting is that all of the amd cards perform essentially the same as you can see there is not that big of a difference between 6800 which is like the lowest card amd has at the moment for 579 dollars over here or the 6900 xt over here which cost a thousand dollars pretty much double the price but look at this only about 30 points difference which is less than five percent difference so hopefully you can see that whether you're editing on davinci resolve or premiere pro you should be going with nvidia graphics cards now if you do want to pick one up i'm going to leave the link in the description below where you can pick one up and which one should you pick up for your price check it out below to underline what i've just said amd cards have been 100 percent basically utilized and marketed and made for the gamers now nvidia cards have been meant for gamers and content creation but if you're a content creator or any professional application user on your pc then it is a very obvious choice. Go NVIDIA, not AMD. Hopefully this made it very clear to you which card you should go for and you're much happier now because the question for you is answered. Now, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.